Oh, okay. It's working. <laughs> My camera's weird today. Anyway, I want to do this video. Um, you probably heard about it already, but I did want to inform everybody because I felt, um, it's my responsibility to do that because this is my channel and I didn't want to leave anybody informed in case you haven't heard um, what YouTube's situation is now. They um, Apparently they gotten sued for a lot of money um, over this Child Protection Act, Protection Act. So now they're making stricter rules for us who do videos on YouTube, who have a YouTube um, channel on YouTube and have a community and have people and us creators basically who have channels on here they're, t they're tightening up the rules it's a, it's um stands for Ch children's online privacy protection act and they're basically you probably heard about it. I'll just I'll go through all of it because it's a there's a lot that I probably don't know I'm just gonna pass to you what I do know about it and what I've heard you know from other youtubers that have made videos concerning what's going on now well since youtube had that lawsuit they have stricken up the rules concerning children so now when you make a video you have to be um ugh, you have to be more mindful of it i guess you can't have anything to do with children in it because basically if you have a, a they're making you mark your your channel not just your channel but you have to go through each video that you make and you have to say, is it for children or not for children? They only give you two options. They don't give you three options or four options like they should. To me, they should have a family-oriented one. You know, like a third option. So at least you can say, well, it's family-oriented, so it's for families, which includes children, which can be like a family type of thing. But they're not doing that. You only got two options. You can either choose um, that it's for children, and if you choose that option, then they're going to take away your comments. They're going to take away you being able to basically communicate with your subscribers, which you're not going to be able to communicate with them at all. They're going to take all that, you know, all those features away. But if you mark it, you know, not for children, I believe you'll still have those options. But you have to mark each video, you know, each individual video, which I had to go through last night. It took me forever. But I had to go through each individual video on both my channels, on this one and on my other one, my crochet channel. And I had to delete a couple of videos on my crochet channel because they had babies, you know, the, the baby um collection that I have with the with the silicone dolls. I had to delete those because they have this, you know, act in order, child protection act, so you can't do any crafts or anything like that with anything concerning children that has to do with kids because of this new law. And if people don't comply with it, then they can be fined up to $42,000 per video. Not just <laughs> for one thing. I know nobody can afford that. So I'm like, okay, now I got to change my um, channels completely and change, you know, the way I say things and do things around some so it'll comply with their new um their new rules but i wanted to inform everybody about that i've been reading up on it, trying to find out more information because there's so much to to know about this how it works and what do you got to do and all this stuff and basically what i've learned so far and i'm still you know reading up on it to find out you know if i have to do anything else i don't think so i think i've done everything i know to do i marked both my channels for adults only you know, not for children. I said it's not for children. Um, so I've done that part. And then I went through all my videos on both channels. And um, marked them as not for children. Each one. And I'm like, you know, like I was saying on my crochet channel. On my craft channel. I had to delete the ones that had the dolls in it. Because that has to do with children's toys. And anything that has to do with that. They're going to consider it automatically for children. So they're going to take away the comments. They're going to take away... All the other stuff. So I'm thinking, okay, well, what's the use in even having the video on there if I can't communicate with people? I mean, if you can't communicate with your audience, then what's the point in having the, you know, the video on there? The, the whole point is to be able to communicate, you know, with your audience. And to me, that it's like a slap in the face. To me, I'm not trying to be mean or, or attack them or anything. You do have to be <laughs> trying to be mindful of my words here. But to me, it's just, it's crazy. But... That's, you know, it's really on Google. I don't think, you know, YouTube's at fault on this one. I think it's it's 
more on Google because they bought YouTube out and then when they came up with this new law and this new rule, they um it was forcing YouTube to comply with it with all their rules and regulations that, that went along with it, from what I understood anyway. But anyhow, I'm not pointing fingers, I'm just trying to explain it the best way I know how to explain it from what I've I've learned so far. From reading up on it, and I'm still reading up on it. Like I said, I'm still trying to, to learn more about it. It's just a law that basically protects children. Which, I, I mean, I'm all for protecting children. Don't get me wrong on that. I'm all for protecting them. But the thing I just didn't understand was they have YouTube kids. So why are you going to, I mean, affect everybody with this? I mean, they have their own channel. And parents, I'm not... Oh, shoot, I done closed that one. Again. Oh, well. <laughs> I thought it was still on there. And I'm like, oops, oh, well. But anyway, um, I thought that... Oh, Lord, I lost my train of thought. I hate that when that happens. <laughs> you lose your train of thought. But basically, I just had to change everything. I had to change all my um videos, and I had to remove some videos, and had to you know, go through each of them. But I'm all for protecting children. I just didn't understand the, the part of making us do this in the first place because, I mean, YouTube has YouTube kids. And, oh, yeah, I was on the parents' part. Now it came back to me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Lord. <laughs> but the part I was getting at that I don't understand is, and that I wish that YouTube would kind of explain more on, is about the children. You know, about the, the children's YouTube channel. They have YouTube kids. So, I mean, you know, kids can watch that. And it's like parents got to, you know, watch their kids. I know you can't watch children every minute. You know, they're going to do things you can't, you know, always see. But, I mean, basically, at least try to put more of a watch on them so that they, you know, so that parents know what their children are doing and what they're looking at on the Internet, especially with the things, you know, the way that, that um, the dangerous things are online these days with children, with all these predators out there. I mean, going online and 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 preying on young kids and and children. I mean, it's ridiculous. Parents should definitely be more mindful of what their children are doing online, because you just you don't know these days. <laughs> you really don't know. It is so dark in here. I swear, it was light. Now it's dark. I'm trying to uh, I get my blinds open. It's kind of chilly and stuff today, and it's not much sun out, so it's like. There's no sun out today. It's gloomy, but there we go. Hopefully it's bright enough now. <laughs> but I just don't understand, you know, a lot of it. Like I said, I'm just passing on what I've learned, the things that I know, and I wanted to inform people about it. You know, basically you have to comply with the rules by the December 10th. And they're giving you till December 10th to, um, you know, go on your channel and go through the the videos that you have on it and to change them for children or not for children and to, you know, do each individual video like that. And if you're having, you know, children content on there that has, you know, like children's toys or blocks or trucks or something like that, you know, like little toys or something on it, you probably will end up having to remove those because if you don't, then they, they'll find you $42,000 for each video. And that's just crazy. I mean, nobody can afford that. So, it's like, well, what do you do? You know, I had to remove a couple of them on my crochet channel because of that. So now I'm going to have to watch the kind of videos I do on there now to make sure that they comply with everything that YouTube wants to do because I don't want to break the rules. I just want to comply with them and try to go with what they say, go with the rules. I don't want to break the rules, but I just... Did want to pass on the information that I do know about it. Like I said, I don't know a lot about it. And I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube about it. And a lot of other creators have made videos um, on this subject. So if you want to, you know, check them out. Also, I just now remember, I have a link um, to a petition that you can sign to go against this thing. And to try to fight it. And they need a lot more signatures. But I will put that link in the description below in case you want to sign the petition, which I signed. I signed it because I'm like, this is crazy. I mean, it's just insane, the things that they come up with sometimes. But 
I signed a petition, and I'll put the, the link to that in the description below. There's also, a, um, if I can find that link, I'll try to find it again, the one to the FTC, where you can leave a comment to them also, which I've also done. I've also left them a comment and on their um, website, so hopefully... Between that and, you know, everybody else reaching out and, and, you know, making their voices heard, that's what, that's what matters. You know, we got to make our voices heard. We got to make, you know, let YouTube know. <laughs> we can't be quiet. We had to let them know what's, what's, you know, how this is affecting us. Because I know a lot of people, and I feel sorry for them. I mean, I feel bad for them because people have worked so hard to build their channels. You know, you work so hard. You've had it for so many years. And then to have this come is like a smack in the face, you know. When you work so hard to build your channel and to build your audience and to communicate with people and to help them out with certain subjects and certain things, and then all of a sudden to have this happen is like, you know, I feel like it's a slap in the face. But that's how life is. I guess you got to roll with the punches. But hopefully, I thought, oops, I'm trying to get this thing stand straight. But hopefully they will. Oh, Lord, that's bright. Ugh, it's too bright. I don't know how I got like that, but okay. <laughs> that light is like, whoa, like shined on my face. But um, I hope that everybody will sign that petition. I'll put the link in the description below. Like I said, I got the web, I got the um, the link saved. I forgot I was going to copy and paste it in there before I did this, and I totally forgot, but I will do it. I'll post it in there for you to, to um, sign if you want to. Um, not just supporting me, but supporting everybody. You know, I'm doing this in support of all YouTube creators and all people that are on YouTube. I'm doing this to support everybody, not just me, but to support all of you on here who have a channel and who have, you know, worked hard to build your channels. I'm doing this also for you, not so much for me. I'm doing it for you also, because I know that, that you out there have worked hard for your channels, just like we all have. And to see this happen, and, you know, I feel like they're forcing people to close their channels down. But I'm glad to see a lot of people aren't. You know, I'm glad to see that they're still sticking with it. And they're just, you know, doing what they can to comply with the rules and, and to, you know, do what needs to be done. And just keep on going, you know, just keep on rolling with the punches. But I did want to inform everybody on it. I know you probably heard about it. But there, like I said, there are other people on here who have done videos. Um, I can name a few crafters that, off the top of my head that I can think of that I've watched that explain a little more about it in case I, I left out stuff, which I'm sure I did because I don't know everything about them. I'm just trying to learn about it myself. But I know Mixed Media Girl made a video and um, Kelly Barlow made a video also on this and she explained a lot more in detail they both did they both explained a little more in detail on it so if you want to check them out you can check them out just type their their names in the um in the search box and it'll pull them up Kelly Barlow and Mixed Media Girl they both I watch them both all the time and they um they made videos on it explaining a little more about it in more detail so if you want to watch them and check them out I will also try to post the links to their channels in the description below also. I think I got them saved in my favorite somewhere, but I will try to also link the the um, links to their channels so that you can check them out and see the videos that they recently made in case you don't follow them yet. But um, I did want to let you know, so I don't know what it means for a lot of people. I can tell you it's a lot of changes. It's going to take some getting used to, I tell you. It's going to take a lot of people getting used to this. And people that have had so many thousands and thousands of, of videos on their channels, oh my goodness, I just, <laughs> I feel for them because going through all that, oh my gosh, that, I can't even imagine doing that. Going through thousands of videos that you made through the years and oh my goodness, it, <laughs> that would have to be a nightmare to go through each one and label it, not for children, not for children. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness, but I don't know, we'll have to see how... How this goes, I guess, but you got till December 10th to um, to make the changes on your YouTube channel. So I just wanted to get that out there. And I'll also put, you know, that in the description box also in the video and any other information and links that I can find um, on this subject. I'll put it on the description box below so that you can click on them and, and find out more information. But usually when you sign into your YouTube channel and you go to... Um, YouTube the YouTube studio It'll show you a video that you can watch because that's what I did I watched a video on there It has a video on there also that you can watch in case you want to find out a little more about it also They have one on there. I forgot about I just remembered but they also have that one 
that you can watch. But I'll post the links to the other two channels on there. Whatever information that, that I can find that will inform you, you know, more than what I can about it and help you learn more so that you can, you know, do this by the 10th because today's already the 2nd. So I'm like, I had to get with it. I just haven't been feeling good the last few days. So I haven't been doing it lately, but now I'm getting better. So now I got to get with it. And I changed all my channels and, and changed all the videos, marked them all and did everything that I needed to do. So hopefully that'll be good enough for him. <laughs> hopefully I'm just I'm praying, you know, that this gets settled soon, but I will put the link also for the um, petition. And I would encourage you to sign it. I really would, because it's not just for me. Like I said, it's not. I'm not doing this for me so much. I'm doing this more for other people because I feel for them, especially like I was saying that had bigger channels that have, you know, like thousands and thousands and millions of people on there, and all these videos on there, and they have to sift through each one. That's ugh, gosh, that gotta be a nightmare. But I will put the link to that petition also in the description box. But I just wanted to let y'all know what was going on, give you a heads up, and. Wish y'all, hope y'all had a happy Thanksgiving. I know I did. I had a happy Thanksgiving. Me and my hubby got a turkey with everything else and like we always do, pies and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> we ate so much, it's, ugh, it's crazy. But Thanksgiving was nice, so I'm glad. It was nice and peaceful at home, which is what I wanted. <laughs> nice and quiet and peaceful. <laughs> Praise the Lord for that. Hallelujah. But I guess, I guess that's about all I can... I'm safe for now, I guess. But I just wanted to inform y'all. And I will talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.